That's a big and deep question. Am I concerned about replacing the ethics of replacing humans with robots? Absolutely not, is the answer. And um, really, the whole purpose of robots, from my point of view, everything I do in my work, everything our company is about, is about improving the quality of life uh, for people. Um, anytime you can make things less expensive for everybody, everybody is effectively richer. When people are worried about losing jobs, you know, the problem is if a piece of technology is introduced this year that replaces an entire segment, that's not going to happen. This is going to phase in very, very slowly into a wide variety of markets. Um, and as people retire out of jobs and things like that and new people go into different careers, there's no real pain. I think the biggest technical challenge we encountered when building Cassie was integrating so much together uh, with so relatively little known about it. This robot is very different from our previous robot. Um, we were able to pull a lot of data about uh, how we're going to control this machine from the previous robot. Um, and we designed the hardware pretty carefully to create a certain set of dynamics that is going to work with the controls. But there are so many decisions that affect so many other decisions on the robot, and it's a completely interconnected system that you can't just separate out. We can't design and build the robot, then design the controller for it. You have to design all this stuff together. And so making sure you understand what the implications of your decisions are going to um, be on all the rest of the machine, that was, I think, the biggest challenge. Um, I would say it has a... It has a practical application in that we are selling this robot, this model of robot, to researchers in the field of leg and locomotion, and people who um, want to develop controllers. Because this is for the first time ever, they can now buy a machine that can walk and run. Cassie will not be serving you dinner. <laughs> Cassie will not be delivering packages. Cassie 3 will be. As next year, as we add arms to this thing, and we put it, uh, sensors on the top, as we start working with logistics companies uh, all, all over the place and, and aiming for specific use cases and testing it, then it'll start to be, you know, we'll have 10 of these robots in very controlled environments trying it out for a few years. And then we'll have 100 of these robots and then very gradually in controlled environments where it's actually useful but is semi-autonomous, it'll be out. It's going to be a very gradual, gradual rollout.